Hello friends, this is Mohamed Amir Khan. I'm pursuing my MTech degree from Thapan University in Software Engineering. In this video, I'm going to talk about my thesis work. That is in a new based software testing using UML activity diagram. I've done this thesis under Mr. Vinay Arora, Assistant Professor, Thapa University, Patiala. So let me give you first a brief introduction about what is software testing. The process of software testing is to analyze the software product to detect the difference between the existing and the required condition. As we all know, testing is an important phase of the software development life second plays an important role in assuring the software quality. Testing of a software can be done before its implementation and as well as after its implementation. When we talk about before its implementation, model based, based testing comes into the picture, which is performed before its implementation of software and this reduces the investment of the effort, time, cost for software. In model based testing, we basically use UML diagram like collaboration, sequence, state chart, and activity diagram. So, let me give you, uh, let me show you the method methodology. So first we draw activity diagram of a subjected system then we convert this activity diagram into XML file. Then we pass this XML file, fetch the information among various nodes of an activity diagram then we generate the agency list from the relationship information fetched from XML. Then we generate the priority table at last test scenario. So let me show you in practical all these steps so first we generate the activity diagram for a subjected system using a visual paradigm as you can see here is an example of a Facebook login page there are two activity diagram this is first one that we call as original as you can see these all are concurrent activity and we haven't shown the interdependency between them. So in intermediate, intermediate activity diagram, we show the interdependency between these concurrent activity as you can see here. This shows that unless and until this not complete, this will not get started. So and after this we generate its xml file that we are uh, that we will pass here you can see the xml file then here in xml file there are a lot of information stored regarding the activity diagram as you can see every node have different unique identities as you can see even S1 has this as an identity join it's join that is a join identity and if they have different relationship in the form of to and form is here you can see to is the destination and from is the source so using this information, we are going to uh, create uh, uh, agency list, priority table and at last test scenario. So let me show you the actual output. First we open the open folder, then we go to the exit drive, then we select the XML file. Here you can see the generated output. Here is the relationship table between each and every nodes. Then we get the intermediate activity diagram agency list. Here you can see. Here you can see in agency list we show, we, we show the connectivity between the different among different nodes enter login details connected with valid user it's a source and this is a destination 
retrieve notification connected with join state set status as offline connected with merge i will show you in diagram set or uh, status as online connected with merge retrieve notification connected with join enter login detail connect with new valid user we can see in, uh, in this output also then we get the priority table fork one get two join one get four lock account get nine send warning email to user get three retrieve notification retrieve message and request have the same priority because there is no interdependence between them among them then we have different priorities for lock account and send warning email to user because there is an interdependency between these two after that we'll use original activity diagram xml file to generate the agency list of this original activity diagram and at last using this agency list we'll generate these parts which is called as the scenarios and we validate each test scenario using this priority table let me show uh, let me show you the uh, first test scenario it is start enter login detail valid user for fun retrieve notification retrieve message retrieve request uh, retrieve join in retrieve request join one prepare wall user preference as online or hidden set status as online merge display user wall stop let me show you an example uh, actual activity diagram the scenario is basically the path from start to end so as you can see start enter login detail valid user retrieve notification retrieve message retrieve request prepare wall user preference as online or offline set status as online merge display user wall stop so this is what my tool generates so friends this is all about my thesis work thank you all